Most of my viewers are already aware that I recently picked up a new gun, which is a Taurus Public Defender. Now, I've had a Taurus Judge before, and I did not like it, couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with it, and therefore said, it's not a good carry gun, I would never recommend it for a carry gun, wouldn't even recommend it for any type of self-defense gun, because it was just so inaccurate. Well, since I got the new gun, I decided I'm going to do some accuracy testing with it. And first, I'm going to test it with different 410 loads. This gun will also shoot 45 Colt, but I'm not going to deal with 45 Colt today. I'm just going to deal with 410. I'm going to see if I get better results with the new gun and some different ammo than I got with my old gun and the old ammo that was available at the time. Because this is when the gun first came out. There wasn't really any ammo specially made for it. Now there's ammo specially made for the public defender, so or the judge, I should say. So we'll see if that makes any difference. Now to test the 410 rounds, I'm going to use the mortal enemy of the Taurus Judge, according to most videos I've seen, the 2 liter bottle. But I'm not going to just use the 2 liter bottle because I want to shoot at different size targets. So I'm going to use milk jugs for 1 gallon jugs. I'm going to use 2 liter bottles, 1 liter bottles, and 12 ounce soda cans as my targets. And I'm going to shoot at these targets with each of the rounds I use from 30 feet and 50 feet. I've marked off 30 feet and 50 feet from where I'm setting my targets, and that's where I'm going to be shooting from. Now, I'm not saying yards, I'm saying feet. I don't really shoot from large amounts of yardage because I'm not that great of a shot. And plus, this is self-defense. If you can shoot it at 50 feet, that's usually pretty good for self-defense. Now, the first round that I wanted to test was the Federal Premium 410 triple lot buck that's made specifically for the Taurus Judge, but couldn't find it anywhere, it was sold out everywhere I tried to find it, even online, so I couldn't get any. So instead, I just went with some regular Super X triple lot buck that isn't made for handguns, and I tried to see what results I would get from that in my Taurus Public Defender. Well, to make a long story short, I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with it. It was pretty much typical for what my experiences were with my first Taurus judge. Couldn't hit with it at all. At 30 feet, couldn't tell if I was hitting the milk jugs at all. I had to move up to 20 feet and shoot the milk jugs from 20 feet to get reliable accuracy on the milk jugs. In fact, I was having so much trouble that I went through all of the Super X triple lot buck that I bought on just trying to shoot the milk jugs and used up most of my milk jugs. So the test of that was a bust. And plus, when I try to eject the rounds out of the handgun, they would stick badly. I don't know if that's just because they're not made for a handgun, but that was giving me a problem too. Couldn't hit with them and couldn't eject the rounds, so I would not recommend them. Didn't really get to test them beyond the milk jugs. So let's just say that's a wash. I would not recommend that ammo at all. The Super X triple lot buck, no way in the Taurus Judge. Now, the next ammunition I tested is actually more recommended for these types of guns, and it is the Hornady Critical Defense 410 Triple Defense. This round consists of a 41 caliber FTX slug followed by two 35 caliber balls. So it's a slug and two pellets behind it. Now, at 30 feet, I had no problem whatsoever with this load. I could hit anything I shot at with it at 30 feet. The milk jug was no problem whatsoever. It made really short work of the 2 liter, took it out really easily. And uh, the 1 liter went down just as quickly as the 2 liter first shot. Down it went. Then I tried to shoot at the little 12 ounce can, thinking this will be a little bit harder because it's a small target. Wasn't a problem at all. Decimated that little 12 ounce can. I mean, just left shards of it. It was really devastating to the uh, tin can or the, I guess the aluminum can. Now next with the Hornady, I moved out to 50 feet. Now I was out of milk jugs at this point, so I had to start off with the two liter bottle. But the two liter bottle was no problem at 50 feet with this load. It was really easy to hit. First shot, took it down. Now next I moved on to the one liter bottle. Now with the one liter bottle I did miss with my first shot. So I'm gonna call that user error cause the second shot took it right out. So that was probably me just jerking the trigger or flinching or something because the second shot was right on. And then when I went for the 12 ounce can at 50 feet, still same result as the first time, first shot dead center, Took the can out really well, pretty devastating still. So this round did really well at 50 feet. So overall, I'm going to say this Hornady Triple Defense is a very competent round. In fact, it is very devastating at 30 feet, and it's even pretty devastating at 50 feet, and it seems to be accurate at both distances, which would make it good for self-defense. So I'm going to have to give this an okay rating. Let's say that this round is pretty good for self-defense. Even though it's a shotgun round, it's still pretty daggone good, even from a handgun at ranges of 30 feet and 50 feet. Now, the next and last round that I tested was the one that most people recommended and that most people wanted to see me test, and that was the Winchester PDX-1410 for handguns. 
Now this load consists of three metal discs followed by 12 BBs. Now the BBs worried me a little bit because I thought they would spread too much out of a rifle barrel from the public defender, but I thought I'd give it a shot and see how it did. Now at 30 feet, it had no trouble hitting the milk jug. It kind of just passed through it. I wasn't even sure I was hitting the milk jug until I went and picked it up and it was shredded, but it had no problem with the milk jug. Now, when I went to the two liter bottle, it hit the two liter bottle well, took it right out, but there was one little issue. It also hit the bottle next to it. That made me worry, is the disc doing that? Is the disc tumbling, one of those three discs in there? Are they tumbling too much and getting off target or was it just the BBs? When I inspected the other bottle, it looked like it was just some of the little BBs that hit it. So that was a little bit reassuring that the discs were hitting their target because there were three holes in the main bottle that I aimed at. So all three discs hit the bottle at 30 feet, but the BBs went a little astray. Then I moved on to the one liter bottle, which was no trouble, hit it really easily at 30 feet. And then the same thing with the 12 ounce soda can. At 30 feet, hit it first shot, it was no problem whatsoever. This gun was very accurate, did a very good job at 30 feet with this ammo. And then I moved out to 50 feet with the PDX-1 ammo. And once again, like I said, I was out of milk jugs at this point, so I had to start off with the two liter bottle. Now I shot the two liter bottle and I hit it, but when I inspected it, only one disc actually hit the bottle and passed through and a couple of BB pellets. I didn't see the other two discs or most of the BBs. So that made me think the two discs went a little wide or a little higher, a little low, I don't know, but they didn't hit the target I was shooting at. Now this target is smaller than a person, so that's not the worst thing in the world, but it did give me some concern. Next, I moved on to the one liter bottle and it gave me fits. I could not hit the one liter bottle. I kept hitting a little low. I was actually hitting a piece of wood in front of it. So I started thinking, well, maybe it's the wood's fault, not mine. So I went up and moved the piece of wood. And as soon as I moved the piece of wood, I actually hit the bottle just fine. So I am going to blame the wood. Now, like I said, this only got hit by one disc and a couple of BBs also. So that is a little bit concerning, but I actually did hit the target. And like I say, I'm going to blame the wood, not me. So no user error here. It's that dirty old wood's fault. And then I moved on to the 12 ounce can. Now I was really worried about the 12 ounce can because it's a small target from 50 feet. And if those discs were spreading enough that only one or two of them was hitting the larger targets, I was wondering if any of them would hit the smaller target. Well, on the first round, I completely biffed it, missed it completely. Uh, but on the second round, the second shot, I just re-aimed and shot again, took it out. It actually got hit by one of the discs and some BBs just like the other targets. So it wasn't bad. Even on a small target like this, it did pretty good. So overall, I'm going to say the PDX-1 ammo is very good at 30 feet. Seems to do very well. Now, the BBs spread out a little bit more than I would like, but they don't seem to be too bad. All three discs seem to hit the targets at 30 feet, and these targets are smaller than a human size. So on a human, all three discs should hit at 30 feet. Shouldn't be much of a problem. If the BBs go beyond your target at 30 feet or any range, those are just the little BBs. I don't think those are going to be fatal if you accidentally did hit someone in the background. It'd be like, uh, you know, going quail hunting with Dick Cheney. So it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Now, when you get to 50 feet, I can't guarantee that the discs are going to hit the target. I think they would from what I'm seeing because I'm shooting at things much smaller than a human. If I was shooting something human sized, I think all three discs would still hit them, but those BBs would be all over the place, like I said. But like I say, not that big of an issue with those little BBs. But because of that, I'm going to have to give the edge to the Hornady because the Hornady does seem to be more reliable and hit its target because it doesn't have those little BBs and I don't think it's as prone to tumbling as those little discs are. Plus, the devastation with the Hornady seemed to be greater than with the PDX-1. Now, that sounds weird because you think those little discs would actually cause more damage, but the Hornady seemed to destroy everything it hit. So I'm going to give the edge to the Hornady, but I'm going to say the PDX-1 is still a pretty good round. Now, to end it off, just for shits and giggles, I went out another 20 feet to 70 feet and said, well, let me see if I can hit the smallest target, the 12-ounce can, at 70 feet. Well, with both the PDX-1 and the Hornady, couldn't hit the target. I tried and tried and tried, couldn't hit the target. I eventually hit it with both of them, but it took several times, so it's not really worth mentioning. So I started thinking, well, maybe I just can't shoot at 70 feet. But then I pulled out my everyday carry, which is my four inch Kiapa Rhino, hit it with the first round at 70 feet. So it wasn't me so much, it's the gun. Maybe it's a combination of the gun and me, but I would not recommend this gun at distances over 50 feet, especially if you're me. So my conclusion after my first round of testing is that this gun does seem to be better than my first Taurus Judge. Either that or the ammo is just better. Because when I shot it with the bad ammo, it seemed to give me the same results. But when I combined the new gun with the new ammo, pretty good results. So as of right now, this is just a preliminary test, but I would say to anyone that actually wants to carry the Taurus Public Defender, I can understand why you would. As long as you carry good ammo in it, I think you're going to do pretty well. It's not going to be my carry gun. It's not going to be what I choose, but if you wanted to carry it, I wouldn't laugh at you quite so much now as I would have before.
This is the first one pieces. Let's see how it held up. It's got three holes in it. It's got three discs and it's got three holes. <laughs>